A new Division One women's tennis ranking has come out. It's another set of computer polls, and it goes as follows. Oklahoma State, Michigan, Stanford, Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia, Texas, Pepperdine, Cal, UCLA, USC, Texas A&M, NC State, Florida, Ohio State, Auburn, Tennessee, Ohio, I mean Oklahoma, South Carolina, Miami, Florida, San Diego, Georgia Tech, Florida State, Duke, and Texas Tech. And I'm going to go over like the 26 through 40 just to get some context on outside teams. I mean, like we're seeing vote teams here, like Washington, FIU as in Florida National University, Notre Dame, Wisconsin, Alabama, Arizona State, Vanderbilt, LSU, Northwestern, Illinois, Baylor, Wake Forest, Harvard, Arizona, and BYU. And right now the cut line would be 41 teams and yeah, obviously if you're like, eh, if you're those bubble, like I'm going to go with those bubble teams right now real fast and I'm not including the Ivy League leader or any in Har Harvard at all and all of this. So Ole Miss, Arkansas, BYU, and Wake Forest are the last four in technically and they got to hope for no bid stealers at all. I mean, that's a thing. And the next four, I mean, the next four buys would be Baylor, Illinois, Northwestern, and LSU. Now, the first four out would be Arizona. I know it says Arizona is higher, like 39, but according to projected, like, on ConsciousTennisRanks.com, Arizona's on that mix, but you get the point because of the BYU factor there, and Arkansas as well. So, yeah, but either way, you get the point, and even below Ole Miss as well. Char I mean, I'm not going to include Charlotte, Princeton, TCU, SMU, like SMU are the, ne the last, like the next first four out in all this, and, and, but that's including SMU with a losing record, mind you, but. If you don't want to include them, which it would be Arizona, Princeton, TCU, Memphis, and Columbia. That would be that then. But the next, I mean, the next four out would be Yale, Utah, Syracuse, Rice, and Maryland. I am not including, notice, I did not include UCF or Kansas. Both of them have losing records, but obviously, if UCF wins a few matches, then maybe they get in as a large, but I don't know. I don't know. So, obviously, you get, winning your conference tournament helps your chances of make, uh, getting to tease yourself in the NCAA tournament. You gotta avoid bad losses, especially if you're those bubble teams out there, and you gotta hope for no bid stealers, and getting some big wins would really help in the conference tournament. If there's a difference between the top eight seed and the top 16. For top eight seeds get the host first three rounds in the NCAA tournament, assuming you win the first two rounds. And top 16, like nine through 16, would be only the first two rounds. And all this. And those teams outside looking in for the host sides want to try to find a way to get make a push, but it does rely on help as well. But still, you don't want you gotta control it what you can. Now I'm going to go over my top 10 Division I women's tennis. It's very similar. Oklahoma State, Michigan, Stanford, North Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, Texas, Pepperdine, Cal, and UCLA. Outside teams looking in no particular order are USC, Texas A&M, NC State, Florida, Ohio State, Auburn. If you want to throw in Tennessee, go right ahead. But I know some conference tournaments are starting this week, like the American, the Big 12, the SEC, the ACC, that's just naming some examples right there. I wouldn't think so on Conference USA. And obviously, the Ivy League doesn't have have one. So, and some conference tournaments are like next week anyway. If they do have one, so 
I'm going to double check the Conference USA right now, but I'm going to, I'm pretty sure they don't. Actually, it's this week, but still. Still, I wouldn't think, as long as FIU wins their conference tournament, I think they're in. But if they do lose their conference tournament, I think they might be on the way out. And it might not be an at-large bet. And some leagues are like one-bid leagues, too. So unless you play yourself into it as an at-large. But still, we're going to wait and see what happens. So anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later on the road of 600 scars. Of course, ultimate goal is a thousand and more. So, my mind out this course, like a video, comment video really helps YouTube algorithm so more people can see it. Sharing the video does help as well so more people can watch. And if you're watching, not subscribe, hit subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well.